So I don't think there's ever been a phone that I've been more nervous about dropping than the Fold 3. Not just because of the price, I mean, this thing is really expensive, but also because of the moving parts. I mean, there's a lot that can go wrong in the event of a drop. Now, Samsung has been emphasizing the durability on the Fold 3. They're using Gorilla Glass Victus on both the front and on the back, and they're not even using the typical 7000 series aluminum for the frame. And instead, they're using what they're calling armor aluminum, which is supposedly 10 percent stronger. Additionally, the inner screen with that screen protector is now 80% tougher than on the Fold 2. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make in the event of a drop, but as always, there's only one way to find out. Test number one, backdrop. In three, two, one. After that backdrop, the Fold 3 does surprisingly well, with its rear glass still fully intact. Now, the primary point of impact was on that hinge side, where the Fold 3 benefited from having this metal strip that goes across its back, with most of the damage from the drop contained to this strip outside of a few scuff marks on the camera module. I don't know how well the phone would have done if the primary point of impact was on the camera side of the phone, we'll test for that later in this video, but either way, it's an impressive result with everything else on the phone working just fine, including that folding mechanism and that inner display. Test number two, hinge drop. Three, two, one. After dropping the phone straight onto that hinge, as you'd kind of expect, there are a lot of scuffs on the hinge itself. I mean, you would hate to see this happen to your $1,800 phone. But the more important thing here is the hinge's functionality is unaffected. Folding and unfolding the phone feels just like it did before we dropped it, which actually makes me feel pretty good about the hinge's durability. We're gonna be doing more challenging hinge drops in a bit, but for now, it's not a bad result at all. Test number three, face drop. In three, two, one. After that face drop, it's an impressive result once again, with the cover glass remaining fully intact. Now, just like we saw with the backdrop, the initial point of contact was on that hinge side of the front, where that metal strip seems to have helped protect the phone once again. The outer edge of the glass did suffer a few light scratches, but really, it's nothing too bad. The cover screen is still fully functional, the cameras work just as you'd expect, and of course, that inner display seems to have been completely unaffected. Okay, so for test number four, we're gonna drop the fold on its face again, but this time we've rotated the phone, so that way the initial point of impact will be on the non-hinge protected side. Three, two, one. So after that second face drop, unfortunately, this time the front glass cracks. While the structural integrity of the glass has been weakened since this is the second drop that we did on its face, I suspect that the glass cracking here mostly had to do with it not being protected by the metal strip this time. Especially given that when we tested the S21 Ultra with the same Gorilla Glass Victus, it cracked on its very first face drop. But the good news here is, you know, while the screen did crack after the second face drop, it still remains fully functional, meaning we are ready to move on to the next test, which is another backdrop this time, but rotated so that the initial impact will be on the non-hinge protected side. Three, two, one. And just like with the second face drop, without that extra protection from the metal strip, the rear glass shatters as well. So the takeaway here, at least for me, is when it comes to dropping this phone in its folded state, like Zach from Jerry Rig always says, glass is glass and glass breaks. But with the Fold 3, the odds of that happening are less in a random drop event due to some of the sides of the Fold having an extra layer of protection. But it's time, it's time to move on to that test we've all been dreading, the face drop right on that inner display. In three, two, one. Oh!
and after that painful inner screen drop, it's actually not bad at all. The glass isn't shattered, it's not even cracked, and the display, the cameras, and everything else on the phone are still fully functional. Now, this result is kind of surprising given how sensitive the inner screen seems with it needing its own special S Pen, but then again, the inner display has the benefit of these raised edges that go all the way across, basically acting like a case would, not to mention that factory pre-installed screen protector. But nonetheless, it's an impressive result and one that definitely inspires more confidence in the durability of this phone. Okay, so with the fold surviving our standard drops from one meter, it's time to start pushing things to the limit, where going forward, all of our drops will be from higher up at just under 1.5 meters onto a steel surface. Starting off with the bonus drop number one on that inner screen. Three, two, one. After that second drop on that inner screen, it still didn't crack. However, the result wasn't perfect this time, with some of the pixels near the center of that inner screen being damaged, but you know, given the force of the drop, I really don't know what else to say. I'm still really impressed. Bonus drop number two, half folded hinge drop. In three, two, one. So I was kind of expecting the phone to split in half there for some reason, but no, the hinge is just fine. It works as you'd expect it to, just as the rest of the phone does. Bonus drop number three, the TP drop. Three, two, one. All right, so we dropped it half unfolded on the other end, and well, it's a similar result. The phone folds and unfolds without a problem, and everything else seems to be working just fine. And finally, bonus drop number four, backside unfolded. Three, two, one. So a total of 10 drops in when you count the bonus drops, the Fold 3 is still somehow going strong. Obviously, it wasn't a perfect result. The glass on the outer sides cracked on their second drops. And you know, while that inner display looks a heck of a lot better when we peeled off the screen protector, the damaged pixels are obviously still there. But overall, the phone still passes our 15 point inspection. And while we didn't test them in exactly the same way, it arguably did better than the S21 Ultra. Now, that's not to say that it's more durable overall than the S21 Ultra. Again, using that inner screen on the Fold with anything sharp can damage it according to Samsung itself, but at least in the context of a drop test, the Fold 3 has proven that it can at least hold its own. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.